Now this time, I think Phil Mickelson could have a point. He has blasted USGA CEO Mike Wan by saying what he's done is a serious move. Yes, you heard me right. Now, in the past, Phil Mickelson hasn't been shy to put his opinions across on what he thinks about the PGA Tour and their response to live golf, right? And some of them have been a little bit silly in the past, but this time... I think it could be justified. Now, as I get into this video, guys, I want you to put your opinion down below in the comments. I want to know what you think. This is about an open debate, and I want to give us a platform to do that. So welcome back to a brand new video here on Bat9 Films. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell because you never know when we're going to release a breaking news story. So, Phil Mickelson has leaped to the response and the help of Taylor Gooch. Let me put some context to this. Taylor Gooch had seemingly qualified for the US Open this year, as he was expecting to compete in the third major championship in June. After being eligible to play at last season's tour championship, this eligibility saw the Live Gold star secure a spot at last month's Masters. But one change to the US Open rules has cost him. So a recent rules change has meant that Taylor Gooch is no longer eligible to play in the US Open. Now, Initially, the USGA rules stated that those players who qualify for the season-ending tour championship earn spots to play in the US Open the following year. So Taylor Gooch earned a right to play in the tour championship last year. Now, he didn't play in the tour championship, let me get through this, because he played live golf, and live golfers are banned from playing on the PGA Tour. But the point is here, he had a spot. He had earned playing rights, even though he was banned, he earned playing rights to play in the Tour Championship. This meant he played in the Masters. This also should have meant that he was eligible to play in the US Open. But after a recent rule change, has meant he's not. Now the question that I've got on my mind, Gooch has been in unbelievable form, right? He's just gone back to back on the Live Golf Tour and won twice. Seriously impressive, right? No matter if you think the Tour is not competitive or not, he's still played some amazing golf. We also saw Phil Mickelson and Kepka play some amazing golf at the Masters. And the question I've got right here to you is, are the USGA scared a live golfer's going to win? Yes or no, please do just get down in the comments. What do you think on that debate? Because I honestly think the answer to that question, if I'm being brutally honest, is yeah. I, I really think they do. I think, they, I think it opens a can of worms. I really, really do. Now let's dive into this story a little bit more. This is how ruled out Gooch due to the star being ineligible for the PGA Tour's season-ending event, being banned by Commissioner Jay Monaghan due to live golf allegiances. Now, despite the criticism and the rule change being defended by USGA boss Mike Wan, who told the Golf Channel, any time that we make changes to the criteria going forward, it impacts somebody, and that stinks, but we can only look forward. This has been slammed by Live Golf Royalist Mickelson. Now, he has been all over Twitter, and let me read this back to you. He put, hey Mike, what about... What about changing a rule and making it a retrospective rule to exclude someone who has already qualified? How can Taylor Gooch not take that personally? It's, direct, it's a direct attack to him and his career. How does it benefit the USGA or the US Open? It doesn't. A, just a dick move. Now, what do you think on that? I actually think Phil Mickelson has a point. If you had qualified and then now you're not, then what's going on? I also can see it from the other side of the story. You had eligibility to play in the Tour Championships. You then got banned from the Tour. So why should you be able to play in the Major? Now, I would understand that viewpoint if he had been banned from playing in the Masters. Now, I know the Masters is an independent tournament, but at the end of the day, it's still one of golf's four majors. Interesting, right? What do you think on this? Do you think it's the right decision? Do you think it's the wrong decision? It's interesting, right? Now, Taylor Gooch has had something to say on this. That was obviously disappointing because the change of rule affected just one person, which was me. The Live Golf star told the 73rd Hole podcast. So that was frustrating and tough because with Live still not being rewarded for World Golf ranking points, I only have two options to qualify for the US Open. Via my world ranking, which is going to be very challenging. 
or trying to go obviously through the qualifying stages at the sectional qualifying. Now actually, Gooch has missed the deadline for this, so that is out of the question. So he now only relies on a good performance in the PGA Championship this year. Again, the questions I'm asking myself, how can you be eligible for the first two, not the third? And will he be eligible for the Open? Honestly, I, I do think it's a bit of a crap move. I really, really do. Like, as a golf fan, I just want to see the hottest golfers in the world competing on the biggest stage. Playing the best golf, right? That is what we want to see. And are we being denied of that in this case? So let's just recap this story. Taylor Gooch had qualified for the US Open. Right? Because he qualified for the Tour Championships last year. Now, he was ineligible to play in the Tour Championship because of his Live Golf allegiances. However, that spot that is still qualified him for the Tour Championship has meant he's playing the Masters and has meant he's playing in the US PGA. But seemingly now, it means he can't play in the US Open. Interesting, right? This is breaking news. Guys, don't forget to get down in the comments. I want to know what you think on this. It is a very, very interesting story. And I think this is not the end of this story. And we're going to hear a lot more on it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell. So you never, ever, ever miss a breaking news story.